How's it going everybody? This is Northern Overland here. I'm your host Jeff and uh, today we're going to talk about lighting. Now, a lot of times when someone gets into overlanding, one of the first couple mods that they decide to do is uh, lighting, lighting upgrades. And I've noticed a lot of times we don't upgrade the lights we already have. A lot of times overlanders just strap a bunch of new uh, aftermarket lights, extra lights to it. And there are some benefits to that. Uh, one of which, you can choose where the light is aimed exactly. There's only so much adjustment you can do with your headlights. If you have fog lights from the factory, you really can't adjust those in most vehicles. Um, so if you do put a light bar uh, on your roof or something, or in front of your grill, yes, you can point it exactly where you want the light. So if there is a dead spot of light, yeah, that's a great option. Um, but sometimes it just makes sense to upgrade the lights we already have. Now, how can we do that? Well, the main way is with uh, just doing replacement bolts. You can go with HID, uh, which I don't like because they get super, super hot and they just tend to be expensive and kind of a pain in the butt. And if you don't have projector lights, they tend to blind people. I don't like blinding people because that's a safety hazard both for them and for me because if I blind them and they cross the middle line and hit me, not good. Um, and I drive a lot of country roads, so chances are there'd be 60 miles an hour in each direction, which means that's the equivalent of me running into their vehicle at 120 miles per hour, or if it's 55, we're both going exactly the speed limit, it'd be 110, which is not a good idea. That's um, definitely a visit to the hospital. So, LEDs are the choice for me. Um, you could go to premium halogens, I've run them before, they tend not to make a huge difference. I went from uh, standard uh, Sylvania lights, and then they have the one, I believe it comes in a purple package, cannot remember the name. Um, it's between the Silver Star and the regular, it's like the preferred or whatever. I've tried those, eh, it's just all right. And then what I did is I got Silver Star Ultras for my headlights, and they did not have H10 Silver Star Ultras, so I had to get regular Silver Star Ultras for my fog lights. And I noticed that it was brighter, but it didn't make that much of a difference. The light was still fairly yellow. It got a little bit cooler, but maybe a couple hundred degrees Kelvin. Um, it was still very much on the warm spectrum, or warm side of the spectrum. And so I decided to go with LED last summer. I went with a brand called JD Emma Star, and they're not bad. If you're just looking to upgrade your fog lights, uh, they'll work. I put them in my headlights too, and after about three or four months, my high beams quit working. So if I were you, I would definitely not put them in your headlights. Fog lights, they've worked fine. I've had them in my vehicle. I've had them in family members and friends' vehicles. They've all been fine. The only thing is that it's not an exact, it's not It's not a, a sharp pattern like you would get from a factory halogen. Um, so I would recommend going with a better LED option for that, which would be Oxbeam. I've heard about Oxbeam for a long time. I never thought to try them because they were always cheaper than everyone else. But I can honestly say, after putting them in my vehicle and comparing them to the JDM Star, that it is the best light I've had yet. And I've tested about four different types of lights in my vehicle. Now, I've read a lot of reviews on them. Everyone seems to like them. I haven't really read any bad reviews. Uh, they have a ton of adjustability if you're getting them for your headlights. You can actually uh, rotate them. I believe there's eight or ten different adjustments. And they plug right in. All you need is a resistor kit. Um, if you have a newer vehicle, a lot of the older ones don't have a CAN bus system, so uh, you're fine um, if you have an older vehicle. Uh, a lot of European ones have, tend to have it. I drive a Ford, but I still I still get uh, the warning lights in the dash. Um, but that's only a twenty dollar kit, and the lights are about thirty dollars a kit a lot of times um, on Amazon, and that's a two day shipping, so that's really not bad. And so for $50, you can convert them over. I am reusing the resistors I had for my last set. They work fine. 
Uh, later on in the video, you will see a side-by-side -side comparison with them. But I can honestly say that uh, Oxbeam is much better than JDM Astar and much, much better than anything you would get from the factory. Um, short of maybe, you know, if you or opted for the HID uh, lights or something from the factory. And you can, the only thing is, is a lot of aftermarket companies will offer you different colors like blue and, and uh, I've seen green, honestly, which is weird because in Michigan that's reserved for road crews only. Um, and, and plow trucks, so I'm pretty sure that that's kind of illegal, but I don't know if it has to be flashing for it to be illegal or not, but I've seen people cruise around with green headlights, which makes no sense for, to me. Um, Oxbeam only offers white, to my knowledge, but that's fine, because that's what I wanted. I didn't want to go for the blue um, <laughs> attention grabber lights, and plus, blue light just isn't good for your eyes. So I'd recommend going with white. They light everything up like it's daytime, and... Uh, yeah, so always consider upgrading what you have before you just start strapping stuff to your vehicle. Because we've all got that one friend that goes down the special aisle at Pet Boys or AutoZone or O'Reilly and just sticks on all this random crap. And it doesn't do anything. If they don't worry about, you know, fixing what they have or making what they have good, they just gotta, if they put those, you know, chrome side vents on, oh, it's, it's a sports car, or, oh, it's an off-roader now, it's got vents, dude. I got a Mossy Oak sticker. On. Don't be that guy, okay? Just and, and if you happen to be watching this and you are someone that is like a sponsored, you know, off roader or something crazy like that, or you're running like the Baja 1000, I understand that you have big light bars. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I may, I don't even know if you want to call me a recreational off roader. I sometimes drive down trails, like dirt trails, but that's about it. Um, Occasionally, if I'm hunting or fishing, I'll end up in a muddy spot. I've only had to put this thing in four low a couple different times to get out of some tricky situations, mainly in winter. And so, uh, yeah, I don't do a ton, but I do a lot of camping. So what I did is I got four uh, of the Amazon Special uh, Spotlight Beams, or uh, Spotlight Pods. They're LED. Uh, I think I paid around like $15 for four of them. It was insane cheap. It was a closeout. They had one pack of them left. Uh, I got those, bolted them up to a little, it's like a license plate guard push bar. And that works great for me. Um, it's just a little extra light. But if I ever want to remove it, um, it's very easy to remove. So if you're going to put lights on, I would recommend you do uh, little clips or connectors. Don't just hardwire it right to the battery because... If you ever go to sell a vehicle, you're going to have to cut wires and then it's going to look like crap. Or if you have to modify your bumper, like I'm going to redo some paint on my bumper. When I go to pull that bar off, I can't just let the lights dangle. They're pretty heavy. It'll rip the wiring out. So what I'm going to do is simply unplug them. And then when I'm done, I'll plug them back in. It's that simple. There's the fog lights, okay? Now, you shut those off. There's headlights. You see the right side again. It's just brighter, just like with the fog lights back here. And now here's both of them together. And there's the fog lights off. And then, because my fog lights don't work with a high beam anyway, there's high beam. Now, if you notice the JDM a star one just gets a little bit brighter, that would be the left side of the screen. And just for fun, real quick here, uh, they're not very aimed very well, but uh, we'll go ahead and hit the spotlights too. There's set one. And that's the second. You can't see the amber set because they're aimed up so high. They have to be aimed down. So I will get to that eventually. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the content on this channel. And uh, put out a video once a week. You're allowed to fly Thanks for watching. Northern Overland. So like my